ASEAN has been transformative in many different ways. It has been transformative in terms of changing the dynamics in the relationship amongst countries of Southeast Asia. Before ASEAN, countries of Southeast Asia, we were very much in a state of conflict and tensions and marked by a sense of distrust with one another. But five decades of ASEAN have transformed fundamentally the relationship because it matters in the sense of being able to create peace in this part of the world, but matters in terms of providing opportunities for commerce, for people-to-people -people interaction that is mutually beneficial and of to the mutual interests of both sides. The real challenge for ASEAN is it has all of the governance structures in place that it needs to have. It has the people that need it to act. What it needs to do is to have the leadership in order to implement those ideas. It also has to be flexible. It has to be prepared to address the problems that are coming down the road, not only at ASEAN, but in our own country, in countries around the world. Many of the problems that were in Southeast Asia are problems that actually are in Indiana. And for that reason, the same approach is the right approach in my view. To get the best information we can, to do the research that needs to be done, to implement real practical responses. Just to underscore the importance of the type of project that the Indiana University is undertaking in reaching out and, and enhancing its presence in the region, I can't overemphasize how tremendously important uh, that is in terms of developing partnership helping consolidate our gain to make ASEAN matter for people in the United States. Indiana University is a leader in my view in that respect. Not only is it a major research university, but it's actually using its capacities to research these kinds of the region of southern Indiana, for example, with regard to the Center for Rural Engagement. And so these are the kinds of things that universities can do. It's not the kind of thing they always do do, but Indiana University is doing it, and I'm very proud of that fact.